Well, there is a big debate right now over a small pool in Fishers. Last week, you probably remember this story. 13 investigates explaining how a homeowners association threatened to sue unless a family took out this two foot wading pool out of their backyard. Well, tonight, our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is back to explain how this dispute is heating up and how the family is fighting back. It's just a shallow wading pool. But it's gotten Bob and Julia Taylor into some deep trouble. It's just perplexing because we followed the rules. The Taylors got a letter this month from the Oak Hall Homeowners Association demanding they remove the backyard pool. The HOA cited a neighborhood rule that no above ground swimming pools shall be permitted. But the Taylors pointed out those same neighborhood rules clearly state portable or inflatable wading pools without filters up to two feet in height and located in backyards are perfectly fine. Inch and a half below the two feet mark. Sure enough, the pool is less than two feet tall and it meets all those other requirements. But the Homeowners Association didn't care and threatened to sue anyway. That is, until 13 News reported on this pool problem last week. A few days later, the attorney for the HOA sent the Taylors a settlement offer, saying they can keep their pool until mid-September, and the association is willing to refrain from taking any further action during this time frame, so long as certain conditions are met. There are several pages worth of conditions. The response from the Taylors? Astonishment. We're not going to accept the settlement. Meet Brian Deham. He's an attorney who got so angry after watching last week's news report, he's now representing the Taylors for free. Absolutely, I wanted to help them out. It's just amazing. We did not seek out any counsel at all, and he reached out to us. Together, they are battling back against what they call harassment from the Homeowners Association, Kirkpatrick Management Company, and the law firm hired to send the settlement offer, an offer they say is unfair. There's really three problems with it. One, it's completely unnecessary. It's completely within the rules. Two, the settlement agreement itself actually inserts rules and regulations that are not in the covenants, so it's really a Trojan horse. And then third, they're required to release any claims against uh, the HOA or their agents, which is really just, again, something that's completely unnecessary. So the answer is no, it's not going to be accepted. And what the HOA and what Kirkpatrick Management Company needs to do is just send a letter saying, we're no longer going to be investigating this pool. It complies with the rules. Have a nice summer. The family has sent a counter offer asking just that and accusing the HOA's attorney of a heavy handed attempt to cover up negligence and intentional misconduct in how it handled the pool investigation. We just want it all to go away, just to stop and let us enjoy our summer as safely as we can for our family. That's all. The question now, how is the homeowners association going to respond? We reached out to the HOA through both its attorney and its management company, and none of them have responded. So stay tuned. Bob, thanks for that update.